Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to ARK. You know, I was live streaming again, probably about a month ago. I started live streaming again on Twitch and YouTube after about a three year break. And I didn't know I wanted to even play ARK again. Um, or ARK Survival Ascended, but a lot of people had been asking. And I found out that there was a roleplay server that my friend Circus Guys had been putting on and some custom mods made by my friend Cliffin and a bunch of other people that I met through RP have put this custom server experience together that is like it's like it's like House of the Dragon or um or Game of Thrones themed Dungeons and Dragons played in Ark Survival Ascendant, okay? <laughs> it's it's really really good. There's a lot of good role players on the server and it's so much fun. I have put together about eight minutes of content that I did for um, a battle in the Dornish War that's currently waging. We have a clustered server that goes from the um, the Seven Kingdoms or the King's Landing area uh, in the island map to Scorched Earth where is Dorn and we're invading them right now. And there's a big battle that takes place. Anyway, it's, it's a little montage of footage that I took um, for you guys to see because I did not live stream that specific event but I have a playlist loaded in the description as well as the server details that I'm going to show you um, and I think that you guys are really really gonna like it and if you do at the end of the video I'll detail some stuff about how to get started on the server how to play with me on the server how to Check out all of the footage and the live streams that I have did since I started about a month ago and all the info that you really need, even about my character development process. So without further ado, I hope you really, really enjoyed this Dornish footage. For the past few weeks, you have been through trials and tribulations like you've never experienced before in your life. Today, you will mark yourself as a legend upon these lands, upon the Dornish that we slowly Show them the true metal of Westeros. Reinforcements! <laughs> the true power of Westeros! George! We have gone to the UK. Bye! Open down. Draw the dog. Draw the dog. Rhino, rhino coming back. Bring it to me. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Elephants on the right! Stimulants? Stimulants if anyone needs here. Uh, where, where, where? Oh, I need some, I need some. I have uh, like hundreds okay. and something, I'm so, just splitting the them up. Okay. I got them. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,
Camp? Yes, at the, at the bottom. Alright. You've done something that no army has done before you. Taken a piece of dawn and brought it to my realm. A landmass of brimstone, will, and now Yonwood belong to our kingdom. No Targaryen king has ever done this. No army beneath him has ever done this. It has come at an unimaginable cost for myself. And I know you have seen your brothers and sisters, friends and family butchered in battle. But today, even in the sorrows that plague my mind, a victory such as this deserves celebration. Angleson. Come here. Come here. Slides. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're giving out spoilers. How slight. I'd be late for you. Unfortunately, I must rest. But uh, oh, it was, it was oh, an honor to share the come battlefield. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You did well. You do, Kieran. Thank you. Come on y'all did. Y'all did great as well. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. All fine. Carlisle, please. I'm fine, my lord. That was some good work you did with the oh, with the dragon. Thank you. Make sure you let it rest. Yeah, it does need quite a bit of rest. <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Rest. I think that Rhino liked it a lot. Are you gonna have some before you go to bed? Uh, Rhino liked everybody. <laughs> Mostly I'm fine, the I promise. Cars. Thank you, mom. I've, I guess if you guys decide to stay awake, I'll see you at the feast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Lord Lannister. It was a pleasure fighting by your side to save you. Hi. Thank you all for participating and Sleep well, you too. Well, fighting you. hard. Thank you. Y'all be good. Don't get into too much trouble without me, okay? And if you do, <laughs> take notes right. so I can hear the story tomorrow. Well, wait, with so your track record, Finn, if you go to sleep, we're going we're gonna to be attacked again. That happens oh, every time you go to say, bed. Don't say every it. Don't time. say it. Don't say it. So, yeah, that's just another day in the life of Finn. Usually it's not that violent, but this conflict type stuff is a lot, a lot of fun. And I've been having such a great time with it. You know, the admins actually put together all of this custom content and have events like a few times during the week, sometimes several times during the week. And recently I had a large custom content um, narrative that I actually went through about breaking a bloodstone curse. But um, I might do another video about that. But if you wanna see more footage of this, you can go to the link in my description for the playlist. And this is all the live streams. Now I've been live streaming Monday through Friday, usually most of those days for about four to six hours per day. And I usually start around 10 a.m. Central and finish around 2 p.m. Central. This week's a little bit different, but you get the gist. I, I've been streaming a lot and you could see about the, the number of hours here. Uh, this was my first stream 
which was four weeks ago, uh, day one, and uh, it was like four and a half hours. It's five hours, six and a half hours, you know, um, a, a bunch of stuff. I've also been creating a bunch of my own content around my character to build this, this narrative and this story that I can connect with other people with. I've been recruiting family members for my own house um, because I've gotten to the point to where my my peasant <laughs> my, my peasant title is now transformed into a lordship uh, because of various deeds that I've done in the kingdom and stuff. But um, anyway, if you guys like what you see, I'd love to see you on the server. Um, one of the things that people have always said during me playing um, Ark Survival is, man, I wish I could play with you in game. Well, I know it's not for everybody. It's, it's high cringe level, but if you like to play with people that are really, really into Ark and really into Game of Thrones, this is a good place to do it. Uh, I have been very, very much uh, enjoying myself making friends with people, role-playing with a lot of people. Some of the people that watch me stream have since made characters and found me in-game and and we've talked. I've, I've treated their wounds as my healer, you know, and, uh, and their characters and stuff like that, so it's been good. And uh, we're continuing to do stuff. The Dornish incursion is only going to last so long then we're going to be back at home at King's Landing, and eventually there will be a Season 2. But um, if all of this is kind of wet and you whistle, I want to show you how I actually got started with the server, okay? So a long time ago, I did roleplay for uh, SKRP, and then um, more recently than that, I did um, Gunsmoke RP. And these were some of the best times in gaming. And to tell you the truth, I wasn't going to play Ark Survival Ascended at all. I thought I was pretty much done with Ark, and um, I didn't know that Ark RP still existed. Now, when Ascended came out, they worked really, really hard to get a server going with all this custom content. And a couple of the guys, um, specifically Cliffin and, um, and Circus guys, um, which I both met in RP, uh, have been doing this custom stuff. He's got an admin team and it's a really, really interesting server. So all you have to do is you can join this Discord. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description. And to get whitelisted, all you have to do is check out the rule book. You can pick a class uh, like um, you can, there, there's a custom skill set, like um, skill point system where you learn, but specifically you can pick a, uh, a type of class. You could be a gatherer, or a craftsman, or a weaver, or if you just want to fight, you could do uh, that stuff too. Like um, stable hands, there's knights, cell swords, maesters. The, some of the roles have to be approved, like you can't just say, well, I'm the king or I'm a prince or whatever. Uh, there are some limitations behind that, but if you can write a compelling backstory, uh, then you can pretty much play whatever you'd like. And um, I thought that the challenge of being a peasant that wanted to learn in, in uh, modern medicine and heal people better, like more effectively, you know, get the resources of um, lords and ladies and nobility and stuff like that. And I finally rose to the title myself and I'm just now getting into this whole lordship thing. But um, uh, if you want, you can read over this class section and, and kind of look at uh, the skills given to you, uh, or you can give it, it, and then you go into creating this uh, this application. You kind of tell them what your classes are, your background, um, how uh, you learned your craft, and maybe some personality quirks and stuff like that. It's 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 100% up to you how it'd be like. My character has a country accent. It's not really native to Westeros or anything like that. But the thing is, it's how I get in character. So it helps me to roleplay better. So I decided to go with that voice and it's easy for me to do. But um, you can go into that and submit your application there. And then from there, you can do whatever you like. Um, if you are having trouble like writing a backstory. I use chat GPT a lot. I also use the free version. I don't have a premium version or anything. And um, I basically just gave it a prompt saying I'm starting to play a character in a Game of Thrones House of Dragon themed server uh, called Arcs of Oblivion Evolved. It uses custom maps, rule set. And I basically gave it the rule book and class section. And I asked it if it could kind of walk me through some scenarios of interesting characters that I could be. So I gave it the class system, then I scrolled down to just about here, and it talked about the type of classes I can be. 
then I told them based on my previous experience, what I did in the past and kind of things that I like to do within my character sets. And it told me, it gave me some suggestions for class, um, class combinations of things that I could be and maybe some weird things that I could do, you know, like twists um, to make the story interesting, you know. So I just started going through my uh, just some scenarios like what would it be if I would do this? I thought it would be funny to have like some AM SMR stuff and some alternative medicines for healer and we started going all down that rabbit hole and I loved it so I kept digging deeper and deeper and now I build lore for almost everything through chat GPT presentations that I'm going to make to the king, um, different narratives that I want to push regarding different diseases or um, or adventures that I'm on. I, I just spent all last stream creating an outhouse because I was worried about the sanitation of the camp in Dorn. Like, just like silly stuff like that. But realistically, it's, it's completely open to however you want to play. If you like the idea of playing Dungeons and Dragons and having a really curated server with the events that you can play on and tons of other people to just bounce ideas off of and, and have fun with and just get involved in their crazy stories as well. And also some interesting PvP when you get down to the uh, the conflict narratives and stuff like that. The house is fighting and things. There's some very, very talented fighters on this server. I just know I got my, my, my face rocked um, just by practicing with a couple of them. But very, very cool people and um, I, I highly encourage you to do it if if you're into that sort of thing. Um, like I said, all of the stuff is going to be in the description below the, the server that you can join um, and uh, and how you can get involved and um, also my playlist that you can watch all of the content that you want. And I'll try to do some videos like this every once in a while to catch you up. But uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if you want to see any specific videos about my character development or any more specific things. I'll see if I can link some clips together and and try to explain more stuff about it. But uh, for, for the most part, if you're interested in this, watching it, you should come over to the live stream. I'm live streaming on Twitch and YouTube daily. If you go to my YouTube channel, as a matter of fact, um, and you just go to my um, my lives, like I, I, if you go to youtube.com slash Zuljin and you go to the live section, you will see that I have all of the lives that I have been doing, you know, so you can watch any of those and you sure should just come and watch me live <laughs> so we could cut up. Uh, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit different or whatever, but I uh, look forward to seeing you in the streams. I know a lot of people did not know I was streaming again or that I was even doing YouTube again or that I was even doing ARC again. Um, so it'd be cool to see you. Anyway, look forward to it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Zuljin signing off. See you next time. Steps in.